to me, second chances, how they heal families, is because it gets fathers and mothers back into the lives of their kids. Um, you have a, a just this big generational gap where grandmas are moms. Um, because of just uh, the influx of, of black and brown men and women going to prison, taking fathers and mothers out of communities um, really, really, it, it really didn't help um, our communities build or even grow. And if there's a, a, a process in place where, where second chances are really given and valued, then families have a chance to, to you know, recoup and, and not to be lost in these, in these long sentences where there is no father, where there is no mother, where, or it's just one parent with this burden of, of being everything to these kids. It's hard enough to raise a, a, a family with one single parent and second chances will really alleviate that. And, and I honestly think that it would um, create a safe space for, for kids to um, just grow up normal like um, society is meant. Um, a, lot of, a lot of folks realize um, the mistakes that they've committed in life and there's really no structured way. The system doesn't have a way where they can say, well, this guy is rehabilitated at X amount of years. So when you give someone a juvenile, a life sentence, you're pretty much just saying that this person is not redeemable, that he's not worthy of a second chance, and this country is built on second chances.